Perhaps because of the cold June weather, it was not a record crowd that came to Epsom to watch the 175th race for the Derby Stakes, but quite a crowd nonetheless. And famous old Epsom Downs were full of fur coats and hot tips and jelly deals and all the fun of the fair for playtime. Hello, playmate. Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh drove along the course with a party of many other members of the royal family, hoping, like so many thousands, for a royal win on this first anniversary of the coronation. The Queen was welcomed by the senior steward, the Earl of Rosebery. Before the big race, Her Majesty and members of the royal party went into the paddock to look over the runners. There's Arabian Knight, number six, and number five is Never Say Die. Number 14 is Sir Percy Lorraine's Darius. Number one is the Queen's horse, Lando. Lando was to have been ridden by Sir Gordon Richards, but owing to the champion jockey's injury, that privilege has now gone to Willie Snaith. Now it's time to leave the paddock as the 22 thoroughbreds go out for the parade for the dear old derby. Johnny Longdon, the American champion jockey with his goggles, has a ride today on Blue Sail. And here's the parade on the way to the start. Only a matter of minutes now before that annual question mark turns into the annual exclamation mark. The winner becomes a racing legend and the owner receives a cup for nearly 17,000 pounds. Any minute now. It's a good start. Moonlight Express, well away. Alpenhorn, Ruston Manor, Blue Sail, Ferial, all well placed. In the early part of the race, the lead changed over more than once, but Ruston Manor, Alpenhorn, Darius, Landor, and Blue Sail were all near the front. Now the gypsies fancy Lavengro was among the leaders, with Ruston Manor, Alpenhorn, Darius, and Elopement. Blue Sail's dropped back, and Ferial's losing ground. Up with the best is the Queen's horse, Landor, going strongly. Coming down towards Tattenham Corner, it's Lando, Roston Manor, Darius, Arabian Nights come up, and elopement. But now, watch that fellow on the outside, lying about fifth. It's number five, Never Say Die, with young Lester Piggott standing up in the stirrups. Watch him come up and pass the leaders. Into the straight, Never Say Die has gone with a comfortable lead after that mighty burst. Flat out after him comes Darius, with Arabian Knight battling for second place, but they're never going to catch the flying Never Say Die. Yes, it's Never Say Die, two lengths the winner. Arabian Knight second, a photo finish neck in front of Darius. And now, in slow motion, watch that finish once more. Never Say Die, the unconsidered outsider, romping home at 33 to 1. Arabian Knight second, Darius third. Elopement fourth, narrator fifth. So the cup for 1954 goes to America, for Never Say Die is owned by American R.S. Clark. The winner ran a beautiful race, and he was ridden with skill and judgment by young Lester Pickett. There were especially warm congratulations for his veteran trainer, Mr. Jay Lawson. But what a turn up for the book. 33 to 1. Look at the people all round who didn't back him. Never say die. Couldn't care less.